Hey, it's MK and I am Scrapping on a Ship with Janet Fritz and Joni. She is our scrapbooking coordinator, in case I haven't said that before. And I was inspired by Crafty Maggie, who is Maggie Bethlin. Um, she is one of the awesomest scrapbookers. If you guys aren't following her, go check her out. I am so inspired that I almost did a full lift. But as you can see, I have about 10 photos I would like to get on a two-page layout. So I'm going to stretch her layout going across and pulling out some elements that I absolutely loved. So the first thing I'm going to do is use this peach piece of paper that is from the Vintage Coastal piece um, or Coastal Collection. It matches my peach shirt I was wearing from 49 and Market, the Beached Collection. I love this collection, you guys. I'm going to use the dictionary side of the palm paper. And then from um, American Crafts, I have two of these cedar house, I think they're called cedar house papers. Um, and I picked this out because it reminded me of those signs. So I actually picked out about 10 sheets of these papers you guys and it's called the hexagons sheet because of the design on the back but oh my stars and they reminded me of all the signs that are everywhere on all the islands but the ones in Labadee are actually in this brown color where most of the other ones were really bright and colorful and fun and you'll see that later I found a couple or other people, I should say, um, found a couple other signs that were bright and fun as well. Um, I took a picture of one that says, leave nothing but your footprints. Uh, and then somebody else took pictures of signs that were on a tree and went up the side of the tree. And I believe it's one of those other signs that uh, has like this one. Um, this place is so many fars away and this place, I know that's not proper English, but that's the words that come to my mouth when I'm thinking <laughs> on the fly. When I do voiceovers, you guys, I do apologize um, for the bad English. I really do. Uh, but when you got to go for it, you got to go for it, right? So I'm going to use my tearing ruler uh, to get started. I have not picked out any embellishments whatsoever. I know in the back of my mind, that I would like to add some yellow because of um, the gentleman that was basically our own private tour guide, <laughs> uh, which is a story in itself. Um, he actually was wearing this bright yellow shirt and I would love to draw attention to that because this layout was basically, um, is basically about him. So um, Janet bought some new shoes and I don't know if she got sand in her new shoes. Well, they were sandals. They uh, are water shoes, basically, in their sandal form. So they've got a strap in the back. And um, on Coco K, we wore the sandals. Um, and we wore our water shoes because we thought we were going to be able to do our excursion. When it got canceled, we thought, okay, well, we're going to walk around. Well, both her and I ended up with sand in our shoes. Well, very promptly I changed into my real shoes um, instead of keep wearing my water shoes. Well, Janet, I'm not sure if brought if she brought her real shoes. Um, so she kept wearing her sandals and by the end of the day, she ended up with a blister on her foot and she only brought so many band-aids to take care of her blister. So when we got to Labadee, um, we found an information booth and there was a, several guys there uh, and our Canadian friends that we made on the boat were also there. So we were super happy to um, run back into them. In fact, we ran into them quite a bit um, on the boat, which was interesting out of 6,000 people we kept running into the same people. So it, it's like, that is so fun because then that means they're in the same interest area as you are, right? Uh, so anyways, um, we get, went to this inf information booth and we started asking a bunch of information. Um, we just got done with our excursion and we were ready to walk the island. Janet really wanted to go and see if um, we could sign up for the, the Pace It Yourself roller coaster. And um, we wanted to make sure that it was it, was it an excursion or can we just go and enjoy it without having to have had to sign up for it and stuff? And um, and so we didn't know where it was or anything. Well, then the next pressing question was, do you have a first aid building so we could get some more Band-Aids? Um, and this gentleman was like, oh, absolutely. And he was like, let me share, let me share it with you guys and I will walk over here um, with you guys and I'll take you. 
And so he walked us all the way to the first aid station. Well, on the way, there's this big giant lava D chair and we really wanted to get our pictures taken. And so while we were waiting our turn, we, I helped other people and Janet helped other people take their photos because there's usually two people, right? And somebody has to take a photo. And if you take a selfie, you don't really get the full chair. There was nobody there to take photos in the chair. Um, and so then this gentleman started taking pictures with people's phones for people in the chair. And it was like, um, this isn't my job. <laughs> <laughs> but he was very polite about it and, and amazing about it. Um, and so after after we got a break, he's like, run. <laughs> so we started running for uh, the, um, well, the first aid shack, um, basically. And on the way, there were all these really cool signs. And I didn't want to keep him any longer than we had to. So we, um, so I decided, well, I'll just take pictures of signs on our way back. It's not a big deal. Uh, we haven't been rushed in any any of the islands. It, it, we had plenty of time to go check out every single island. We, we never, ever felt rushed at any island. So I thought, oh, I'll have plenty of time to take pictures uh, on our way back. And then, of course, that's where we also found the butterfly um, sign and everything. And on the way back, we just we just did our little, uh, our little, our little, you know, leisurely walk back to the boat. And um, some of the signs were taken uh, from all the way across uh, the other side of the path um, because I just barely saw them like, oh, there's more signs. Click. Oh, there's another sign. Click. <laughs> you know? um, so I, I really was just clicking on the fly, basically. Uh, yeah. And um, when we came across this La Badi, no, the leave nothing but, um, uh, but your footprint sign, you know, we have several several of these pictures to choose from because some some people were walking by other angles you could see people on the beach which doesn't bother me one bit um janet kind of leaned down so she could get a picture more of the palm tree and less of the beach and i mean it was just so funny to watch us try to get one picture of one sign <laughs> And then next door was this really cool little um, netted off area. It was, I don't want to say fenced off because it wasn't a fence. It was more like a net. But, you know, the net was used as a fence um, that had these really cool, very cool uh, boats and stuff on it um, that were, of course, you know, dry docked. And um, so I uh, went and took a ton of pictures of that. And it was almost like it was depicting life on the beach, you know, where, where they had to make their own nets and they, you know, were carving out the boat and things like that. So it was almost like a, um, like a museum type of thing, but outside. And it was so super fun. So anyways, um, like, uh, Maggie used on her layout, I loved the fact that her photos fell off of her block, right? That she uses on her page, the, the block of, of pattern paper. And so I really did like that part to change subjects, you know, on the fly like that. Um, so I decided to go ahead and cut off a portion of my band that was going all the way across the page on the right hand side, because I liked the photo falling off the block of color. Um, and, and I just wanted to do that. So I figured out how much I wanted to cut off and I went ahead and cut it off. And then I definitely liked the addition of the little elements down at the very bottom of her page. I've never done one to where it's not like a little banner and I see both sides of the um, of the uh, base page and I only have it touching one edge, right? I've never done one all the way down in the corner. And so I'm working on it right now to where I was able to put another photo in there. So I, I ended up with, what, nine? nine photos. I'm counting. Yes, I have nine photos. One of them is a flip flap. Um, I, I put the flip flap together first thing before I started building my page. And um, I went through my stack of cards that I got from the kit that I purchased on the ship and went ahead and picked one out that was best suited for this page. And the reason why I picked out the one that I did also gave me a spot for journaling because as you can see, I had quite a story to tell, but nowhere to put it, right? 
Um, and it was just, the guy was just great. He even told us about the marketplace. And if we ever have any trouble at the marketplace, we come and get him right away. What was really cool too about the marketplace, which I will also um, do in another uh, video, is that it, um, Royal Caribbean had their own security type of people making sure that nobody stays there for too long. Um, and so they come up to you and, and while people are trying to barter with you and come in and are you okay? Is everything okay? You know, are, are you having a good time? They don't make it sound like it's like, I, I don't know. It was never, ever feeling threatening at all. It was great, you guys. And I just loved that extra sense of security with the royal people being there, uh, monitoring us and making sure that we don't get lost because it... <laughs> It went a long ways, you guys. It really did. I only stepped a couple feet in, um, but I, my girlfriend, she was, wow, um, way far away than um, expected, and I got to hear about her story later, later. All right, you guys, so that is my layout for today. Maggie, thank you so much for a great inspiration. I, I really did enjoy stretching this across two pages and kind of making it my own by adding a photo down in the little cluster. I definitely um, tried to do the elongated title with different um, words and things. Um, so I've got three different pieces. Uh, I've got a wood piece, a ticket, and then a banner um, to try to build up my title. Of course, it's not as large, but I still really did enjoy picking and pulling out the pieces of your layout to make it into my own. So this was very fun. Thank you very much. For all that you share with us, um, it is so great. Don't forget to check out the playlist down below for me, I Scrap Lift You. And also don't forget to check out Janet Fritz's channel to see what she is doing for today's layout. And I will check you guys all later. Again, thanks for stopping by.